Uh, okay. Uh, in this work, we propose a resource partitioning framework uh, based on deep reinforcement learning for improving server resource utilization. Uh, we first give the motivation of this work. Uh, workload consolidation uh, is commonly used approach for improving resource utilization in uh, modern data centers. However, co-located workloads often suffer from significant performance degradations uh, due to resource contention on the shared resources, uh, such as CPU cores, memory bandwidth, and the last level cache. If the resources can be partitioned among the co-located applications, performance interference will disappear. However, now the resource partitioning problem uh, faces several critical challenges. The first one is precisely quantifying the performance interference among the co-located applications is very difficult. Now, this is because the contention behavior among multiple applications are very complex. So without a precise quantifying method, it is very difficult to find the optimal partition. The second challenge is the solution space to be explored to find the optimal partition is very huge. Uh, according to uh, our analysis, the total number of partitions is up to 10 with power 21 if we consider CPU cores, last level cache, and memory bandwidth coordinately. So in such a huge solution space, finding the optimal solution is not feasible. The third challenge is the system state changes over time and is usually unpredictable. So this requires that the partitioning decision must be made very quickly. Otherwise, it cannot catch up the fast phase changes. Many existing works have been proposed to address the above mentioned challenges uh, for the resource partitioning problem. Uh, we divided the existing works into three categories. So the first category we call heuristic search guided by performance model. And the works in this category includes DCAPS, KPART, and so on. So the basic idea of these approaches is to build a performance model relying on domain knowledge. So this performance model is able to estimate the performance interference. And uh, after that, we use the performance model to find the optimal solution using heuristic algorithms. However, now this approach can only cope with single resource and cannot easily be applied to multiple resources. Now this is because it is very difficult to build the performance model due to complex contention behavior over multiple resources. The works in the second category includes uh, group part, quasi heracles, parties, and so on. So, uh, which we call greedy tuning according to real time state. So, the basic idea of such works is to dynamically tune the partitioning schema in real time uh, using some simple greedy approaches. However, it can only be applied to simple optimization objectives. For example, ensuring the fairness among the applications or the QS and cannot be applied to optimizing complex objectives such as the system throughput. Now this is because it lacks a performance model to quantify the performance interference. The last category particularly, particularly refers to C-Lite, so which we call fast search based on probability distribution. The basic idea is to build a performance model using a Bayesian optimization and find near optimal partition decision intelligently uh, guided by the performance model. However, uh, this approach cannot handle fast phase changes and the large collocation size uh, due to the limitation of the Bayesian optimization. To address the challenges, of resource partitioning. Now, in this work, we propose DRL part, so which is a deep reinforcement learning based resource partitioning framework. 
Uh, here is an overview of the framework, which is composed of three main components. The first component is model training, so which is in charge of training the DIR model. So this process can be done offline and is one shot. The second component is online partitioning. So in this process, the well-trained deep reinforcement learning model that takes some real-time collected system state as inputs and generates the partitioning decision. The third component is a fine-tuning process Now, when the DRL model makes a not-so-good partitioning decision, the fine-tuning process will be activated. Now, in this process, we use a greedy heuristic algorithm to find a better partitioning decision. Where now the partitioning decision is evaluated by a dedicated performance model. Before we go to the detailed design of our DIL part, so we first briefly introduce now what is deep reinforcement learning. Now, in case you are not very familiar with this technology, so DIL uh, is a kind of uh, approach that an agent interacts with the environment that learns an optimal policy by trial and error. So if the policy is represented by a deep neural network, we call the model is deep reinforcement learning. So DRL has been widely used in computer games, scheduling problems, and so on. We would, we would like to claim that the DRL is very suitable for resource partitioning now because it has three very promising properties. So the DIL uses deep neural network to establish the relationship from the input to decision. So where in our context, the input refers to the real-time system state and the decision refers to the optimal partitioning decision. So the deep neural network has strong ability to model complex relationships, relationships so which guarantees the optimality of the decision. So once the DR model is well trained, the partitioning decision can be made very quickly because the inference of neural network is very fast. So we say it is very efficient. The core of neural network is to fade a relationship between the input and the output. So a well-trained neural network has natural generalization to the inputs of which have not appeared in the training scenario. So it means that in our context, the DIL model can adapt to the workloads that have not appeared in the before, the collocations and applications. So it is robust to dynamic system state changes. Uh, next, we introduce the eight technologies used uh, in the proposed framework. So the first one is a performance model. So this model takes the current partitioning schema, the current performance counters, and a given partitioning decision as the inputs, and uh, predicts the performance of applications under the given partitioning decision without the running it in real system. So the intention of building this performance model is to reduce the training overhead. Now this is because training the DR model needs a large number of training samples. Now if the samples are collected by interacting with real system, the training time will be unacceptable. So with this prediction model, we don't need to interact with the real system to generate the training samples. So it can significantly reduce the training overhead. The second technology is the design of the DR model for resource partitioning. So this model takes the real-time system state as inputs, including the current partitioning schema, the current performance counters, and direct, directly output the partitioning decision. Uh, the figure shows the details of the model. Now, basically, it composes a deep uh, neural network, attention, and GRU uh, technologies. 
So we will not go to more details in the in this presentation, and you can find the uh, details in the paper if you are interested. Uh, the DR model has two advantages. The first, the inputs are easy to collect. The second, the well-trained model can make partition decision very quickly. The last key technology is the fine tuning process. As we have mentioned earlier, machine learning uh, models can be generalized to new workloads and things before. However, there is no guarantee on the decision quality, so it means that sometimes the DIR model may make not so good decisions. The purpose of this fine tuning process is to improve the bad decisions. Now, this process has three steps. Now, the first step is to identify the bad decision, now, where we define a threshold. Now, if the prediction error is larger than the threshold, we deem there is a bad decision. So in the second step, we use the bad decision as the first training samples to build a more accurate performance prediction model. Based on this model, in the third step, we use a greedy heuristic to find a better decision. So this is the last key technology. Uh, the last part is the evaluation. We have implemented the DR part and evaluated with extensive experiments. Now this table shows the performance counters we have used, uh, where the performance counters are selected using random forest model according to their importance. Uh, we test uh, 120 applications from um, SPAC CPU 2017, SPAC CPU 2006, and uh, a PY performance benchmark suit. So the, the platform is an uh, Intel server whose details are shown uh, in this table. And we consider three resources, CPU cores, last level cache, and uh, memory bandwidth. And we use the task set CAT and uh, MBA to implement the resource partition. Uh, this table shows the performance of the pre the prediction model, as can be seen, the prediction accuracy is very high, uh, which is over 92%. Uh, these two figures show the overall performance of uh, the R part. The left figure shows the system throughput achieved by uh, each approach, uh, where the, the red figure uh, here, the system throughput refers to the refers to the total IPC of the applications co-located. The red figure shows the throughput improvement of the error part now over the baselines for different collocation sizes. Now from the results we can see that now the error part can improve the system throughput by 10% to 26% over the baselines. We also observe that the error part achieves the highest benefit for the collocation size of five applications. And the less benefit for other collocation size. Now this is because resource contention is a small collocation. In a small collocation is not so competitive, so uh, the impact of resource partitioning is less significant. So in contrast, for large collocation size, such as the seven APPs, each application will be allocated less amount of resources, so the applications always have bad performance, no matter how the resources are partitioned. The results on this slide shows how different collocation types affect the performance of the error part. We classify the collocations into six types according to the sensitivity of the applications in the collocation. For example, if the applications are sensitive to multiple resources, we call the collocation belong to type multi S. Here we see an application is sensitive to a resource if the performance degradation exceeds 15% when the resource allocation changes from the maximum to the minimum. Uh, from the results, we can see that the throughput improvement of the error part is obviously more significant for co-location for collocations with more sensitive applications, for example, type A and type B. 
So this is reasonable because the applications in such collocations are more sensitive to resources. So an improper resource partitioning may cause remarkable performance degradation. Uh, this figure gives an example of how fine-tuning process improves a bad decision for a randomly selected collocation. We can see that first, the fine-tuning process is very fast. The second, the new decision produced by the fine-tuning process is much better than the bad decision, uh, which confirms the effectiveness of this process. Uh, next, we show the robustness of DR part to new workloads. We add a different proportion of new applications in the collocations. The left figure shows the number of bad decisions pr produced by DR part uh, as new applications increases, increase. The right figure shows the corresponding throughput improvement of DR part. Now we can see that as the number of new applications increases, the error part makes more bad decisions. However, the performance degradation is not so significant. The results show that the error part has good adaptivity to new situations, now including new collocations, workloads, and applications. Since it can make partitioning decisions very fast, and the results imply that the error part has strong robustness to fast-paced dynamic system state changes. Now, finally, is an executive summary of this work. Uh, in this work, we consider the resource partitioning problem among co-located applications on commodity servers. Now, this problem has three critical challenges, large solution space, and predictable system state changes, and complex resource contention behaviors. Our goal is to investigate optimal, efficient, and robust resource partitioning approach. And our approach is a deep reinforcement learning approach based on a deep reinforcement learning based partitioning framework. Uh, the results show that the proposed framework can improve the system throughput significantly compared to the state of the art baselines. Okay, so that's all for our presentation. Thanks for your listening.